you're out in the dark and you hear rustling in the shadows. You see big yellow eyes, a pointy beak, and it soars in the night. No, it's not Batman, but rather a burrowing owl looking for its next prey. These beautiful creatures are sometimes called howdy birds because they seem to nod in greeting from the entrances to their burrows in prairie dog towns. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the majestic creatures that are the burrowing owl and some things that may surprise you about these not-so-nocturnal creatures. But before we get started, please go ahead and peck the like button and the subscribe button and be sure to smash that notification bell. Now, let's get to know our furry creatures, the burrowing owl. Tail of the Tape Standing at 28 centimeters or 11 inches long, the burrowing owl also has a wingspan of 61 centimeters or 24 inches long. These small but fierce creatures also only weigh about 140 to 240 grams, which is just around a half a pound. What they lack in size, they make up with speed and cunningness. Their feathers are typically a dark brown to light sandy color. This enables them to blend in with their environment as their nests are typically found on the ground rather than high up in the treetops. While most owls have big round eyes, the burrowing owl has bright yellow eyes, almost like a well-lit moon. These huge goggle-like features allow them to see extremely well both at night and during the day while hunting in the air for their small prey. Other than its eyes, maybe its most unique feature is its legs. Most owls have sharp talons to snatch up their prey at will, but the burrowing owl has a unique feature with its legs. With the size of this owl being so small and petite, their environmental effect of living in open grasslands as opposed to forests has allowed them to develop longer legs that actually enable them to sprint as well as fly when hunting. Maybe centuries from now, they'll start looking like flamingos rather than a miniature-sized Batman. The burrowing owl once colonized pretty much anywhere in the Western Hemisphere. Often found in both North and South America, things have changed in the last 100 years, but they are now mostly found in Western Canada, Western United States, throughout Mexico, and Eastern parts of South America. Unfortunately, because of deforestation, they have been classified as possibly becoming extinct in certain parts of North America. For example, seven counties in Colorado have deemed that these little critters' population is at risk of extinction. Fear not, as there are multiple conservation efforts to try to maintain these beautiful owls' legacy in the future. You know what they say, you are what you eat. However, when you're an owl that weighs less than a pound, what do they eat exactly? For starters, these tiny critters have also adopted, or should we say, unadopted night hunting. Regular owls are known to be nocturnal and do their hunting at night looking for mostly insects, fishes, and even small birds. The burrowing owl, however, hunts by day during breeding season, but mostly they feed during dusk and at night. You can even say their diet is seasonal. During the summertime, they mostly eat large insects, as 80-90% to 90 of their diet includes grasshoppers, beetles, crickets, and caterpillars. But for the majority of the year, they even feed on small mammals, such as moles, mice, squirrels, and even small birds. Maybe surprisingly of all, they like to go on a reptilian buffet and even eat frogs, toads, lizards, and snakes. They're like small human babies that are hungry. Small in nature, but they have a huge appetite. Speaking of babies, before laying eggs, burrowing owls actually build their nests with animal dung, aka poop. This is actually ingenious and even awesome, or owlsome because it attracts dung beetles and other insects that the owls then catch and eat for themselves and use to feed their future babies. When the nests have been developed in the ground, also called burrows, the mama burrowing owl can lay an average of nine eggs at a time. The female incubates the eggs for about a whole month until the eggs begin to hatch. During this time, it's the father, or male burrowing owl, that forages for food and brings the food to the mother and the babies. The hatchlings are altricial, which means they are blind and helpless and are fully reliant on their parents for everything. 
The young owls take about six weeks until they can leave the nest and begin living out their lives, and the parents no longer have to take care of them. Oh, the beauty in the circle of life. Some fun facts. Because of human intervention and expansion of buildings and cities with pollution, roads, and other modernization, the burrowing owls have sadly adapted to this lifestyle as well, especially in the United States. If there are no suitable homes that can be created for their nest, or the burrowing owl can't find a nest that's already been created by ground squirrels, prairie dogs, or other burrowing animals, they have been known to nest in PVC pipes. If you're wondering what these are, they're polyvinyl chloride, or in plain English, the white plastic pipe commonly used for plumbing and drainage. They're small, circular, and if there's no water running through them, they actually make good nesting grounds for burrowing owls. Of course, not the best because it's plastic, but conservationists make use of the owl's ability to adapt to their environment by supplying artificial buckets, pipes, or tubing to ensure survival of these birds in cities in North or South America. Despite its small stature, burrowing owls are one of the best in terms of adaptability. They actually have a high tolerance for carbon dioxide compared to other birds which only live in the cities, but also tolerate living long periods underground where CO2 levels are typically higher. Smaller than a pigeon, these resourceful owls have adapted to life and overcome many challenges that have come their way. You may think that they're easy prey to bigger birds, reptiles, and other creatures that think they're easy picking. However, they even have developed a method for scaring off their predators. By making a rattling hiss, similar to that of a rattlesnake's tail, they have learned to scare their enemies away, which has made them one of the most cleverest owls in town. Despite all that, their biggest enemies are deforestation, the implementation of pesticides and other chemical agents, and the effects of climate change. So show your support for the burrowing owls by educating your friends and family and getting involved in preserving their future. These cute critters will truly owl appreciate it. If you like these puns, or found this video educational and informational, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. What do you think of the burrowing owl? Leave your comments below and let me know what your favorite animals are. You never know, I might just do a video on them. Until next time.